What is going on all you tiny people? Draco Invictus here with a grounded video. Today we're going to be talking about patch 0.1.1. Yes, we received the first patch from Obsidian for the game Grounded and let's get right into it. Hit that intro. All right, guys, so I'm going to blow through the patch notes here. You guys are going to watch some gameplay. And I think I found a problem that was created with the patch. So hopefully they release some sort of hot fix or something like that. But you guys need to let me know down in the comment section below. Are you running into the same problem that I am? All right, let's jump into the patch notes. Under major issues, made changes to finding, joining, and hosting games with friends more reliable. Awesome. We adjusted the handling of joining game failure. The game is full, the game no longer exists. So if you're trying to join up with your buddy's game and he's already got three other people in there, you won't even see it on your list. That's what that means. Added a way to allow players to resolve the issue of the game logging the player into the wrong Xbox Live account on PC. That is very helpful for all of our PC playing friends. Fixed issues on Windows 7 and Windows 8 users crashing when attempting to log in. Those users should now be able to load the game after updating. Who in the heck is still using Windows 7 or Windows 8? Fixed crash when saving or loading and the auto save count number in the options is set to zero. So basically if you set, which you can do, you can set the number of auto saves all the way down to zero, but it used to crash when you did that. So now uh, they have fixed that problem. We have implemented a fix for players who were getting stuck in the welcome pop-up screen and am able to move past it. That would be a bummer to buy a $30 game and then not be able to log in and play it. Next, we have fixed characters not being saved occasionally in save games. This is not retroactive. Unfortunately, we are not able to bring back lost items, but hopefully this fix will prevent this from occurring in the future. Yeah, that would have been a bummer losing your entire inventory. I think I would have rage quit at that point myself. All right, moving on to game updates or patches. Players will no longer be permanently stuck in spider webs after destroying them. Yes, thank God that I've done that half a dozen times. I have found an easy way to get around that, but now they have patched it. I don't need to worry about the workaround. Fixed Burgle disappearing in some games if you attacked him and saved and loaded. This is retroactive, so Burgle will appear in the games he disappeared from, allowing players to interact with him again. Next point, restoring save games that have lost progressive state. Oak tree lab doors no longer opening for players, mysterious machine not allowing players to hit buttons to finish the quest, time being frozen, etc. This is retroactive. After updating the game, players should be able to load into their game and continue to progress. Should this issue happen again, logging out of the save and then loading back in should resolve this issue and allow you to continue playing. Also fix an issue with endless larvae spawning over time. I actually ran into this problem myself. Larvae were also spawning each time a spike trap was built. So if you built 10 spike traps around your base, that's 10 times that the full complement of larvae were respawning. Yikes. One-on-one -on -one larvae aren't bad, but when they swarm, it is hell on earth. Uh, this update will not remove the larvae that have already spawned into games, but the larvae respawn rate has been fixed. They also fixed an issue where all item durability in your inventory incorrectly showed full when loading back into a game as a client. So if you were joining your buddy's game, as soon as you came in, your inventory would show that everything was, hey, hunky-dory, everything's at full durability. You use it once or twice and it's broken. That's why. Implemented a fix for an issue where games that were saved before raw science started spawning prevented raw science from appearing later. It also included an update for a problem with raw science spawning after analyzing and having additional players collecting it on join. Due to this, players may notice that the starting raw science they previously collected has respawned. So, all of those 500 raw science things that you found before, you can go get them again. Including, with Burgle, you can get the 500, the 100 down by the battery, the 200 that are outside his little lab across the little stick. Yep, all of that has respawned throughout the game, so go get more raw science. 
They fixed crashes when loading a save game dealing with ant colonies. Removed Kill Mosquito Burgle Quest. This is not retroactive. Players need to speak with Burgle to abandon this quest. Then during the next in-game day, you'll be able to talk to Burgle again and accept a new quest. Because, well, mosquitoes aren't in the game. Yet. Found the cause behind the issue where attempting to cook dry an item slot with no item in it would crash the game. <laughs> yeah, that would, that would suck. Found a fix for the occasional crash caused by dewdrops that have items stuck in them. It also included a fix for dewdrops exploding and causing a major FPS drop on client. Yeah, I ran into this and it wasn't just the dewdrops, it was the juice drops and all of that stuff. It was like my screen filled with giant bubbles. It was crazy. Fixed issue where clients dragging items from one slot in a storage basket to another would not reflect on the host causing item desync. That is the last item spot in a container. Several of us have run into issues where you'd go to fill that last slot and it would just disappear. And so our workaround was, well, you never fill the last slot in the container. But uh, apparently they have fixed that issue. They have disabled storage baskets and smoothie stations from being able to be interacted with by multiple players at the same time until other desync issues they're working on have been resolved. So if I'm staring into a box, you can't also look in the same box because that's what kind of causes those whole desync issues. The block tutorial now only plays once. Tuned wolf spider hearing and investigation AI to creep on the player less frequently. Let me tell you, they knew that the wolf spider was going to be the apex predator in this game. And you can tell that they devoted a lot of time to the wolf spider AI. It will track you through the grass. I mean, it literally follows the path that you took. It's hunting you down and it is a very, very good AI, but apparently they are dialing it back because it was just too good. All right, UI fixes. UI changes made to the Scabby OS system. Okay. Fix trail markers not showing up on the map. Thank God for that. And an additional fix added to prevent the game crashing if you tried to navigate them in the legend. I did this during a live stream. I'm like, man, my trail markers aren't showing up. I clicked on trail markers on the map because it read trail markers. I clicked the button and the game crashed to desktop. So I'm glad that they fixed that issue. They reduced screen edge shimmer on the Xbox One and Xbox One S under load. That is something that I had noticed when I do play on the console, uh, that edge shimmer. So I'm glad that they fixed that. And that is going to wrap it up for the patch notes. Now, something that I've noticed, I was playing with my buddy Marcus last night after the update and no dew collectors were spawning dew. No mushroom pad things were spawning mushrooms. So there may be one additional issue that was working before, but has since stopped working. If you guys are getting dew on your dew collectors and you're growing mushrooms, please let me know down in the comment section below, because I want to know, is it just me and Marcus that it's screwed up for, or is it screwed up for everybody? Because if it is screwed up for everybody, we can kind of, you know, push, you know, Obsidian, hey, get us a hot fix for this so that we can continue playing the game. So that is going to wrap it up for this video, guys, covering the patch notes 0.1.1. And if you are having issues logging into multiplayer, make sure that you did receive the patch, especially if you're on PC, because Marcus had received the patch. I did not, and I could not join or host a multiplayer session until I had done the update. So make sure that that gets done. And until next time, guys, I want you to take care of yourselves out there. If you have any questions, comments, kicks, complaints, leave them down in the comment section below. If you're new to the channel, I'm doing all kinds of grounded content. I'm doing live streams. I'm doing a playthrough. I'm doing a build series. So I've got all kinds of grounded content coming out. Subscribe, hit the bell notification icon so that you get notified the next time I post a video. Until next time, take care of yourself. This is Drake One Victor saying this has been the greatest day in my life. See ya.